all right my fighters so as you can see the maintenance is over and they decided actually to do something pretty interesting so as i said before if you want to stay updated with everything new about dragon ball legends make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it they doubled the amount of chrono crystals that they are going to give us as a compensation for the maintenance I believe that they actually saw the backlash of our opinions about the 400 Chrono Crystals and therefore they decided before actually making it official uh, let's actually double it because this isn't going to be good enough to make people happy and therefore they gave us 800 chrono crystals instead which is pretty cool actually this is nearly 1000 chrono crystals i really don't know what they would have lost if they gave us the other 200 as well and made it 1000 but whatever i guess uh, I think that there is 200 extra for the celebration as well that we would have gotten anyways so I guess that will make it 1000 but still they could have given us 1000 as a compensation like why not uh, but 800 chrono crystals is pretty phenomenal it's much better than the 400 at least and it is nearly a 1000 so I'll take it <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about it I am just saying why not 1000 like seriously why not what they would what, what would have they lost like I really don't understand anyways as you can see there are actually some upcoming changes as well uh, they changed the rewards for the shallot upgrade missions uh, and uh, the previous Zinkai Awakening summons will be available to play anytime uh, if you go to the summon section you will see actually let's actually go to it let's see it together <laughs> <laughs> so here as you can see on the top right there is actually a, a Zinkai summon now and if you click on it you will be able to see all of the characters here and we click on one and as you can see you can summon for it and you can do daily singles and you can also do the multis if you want to now do I recommend you to do so no I don't recommend you to even do actually the singles unless it is a character that you really want in that case do the singles and try to get it but other other than that I don't recommend you actually to do this at all because if you actually calculate how much you are going to spend per week on one character doing only singles you are going actually to spend 140 chrono crystals per week do they give us 140 chrono crystals maybe now if you multiply that by three or four or five you will actually understand directly that this isn't the way that you should spend your chrono crystals this is going to be completely bad for your chrono crystals so if you are going to do so do one or two at maximum don't do more than that because you will be actually ending up losing chrono crystals instead of gaining chrono crystals and that isn't what you need actually so make sure to to do the ones that you like and don't do more than what you should because otherwise you will lose actually so many chrono crystals for nothing now let's go back to the news and as you can see we have actually the news update here and basically uh, what they are going to do is that when as I said before they aren't going to reset the daily stamp rally so you don't need to uh, be afraid about it uh, if you log in now actually you will see that they didn't reset it which is pretty cool then they actually are talking about the uh, celebration and what they did actually during this maintenance so first of all they are actually going to add features uh, new legends ranking uh, players around the world will compete in the new legends ranking in legends ranking players compete based on the points they earn each season get these points from various content in legends or from legends ranking missions now keep in mind during the reveals and stuff videos they say that uh, the points are going to be easier to acquire when you play pve uh, not pvp uh, because of the fact that pvp already has its ranking rewards and therefore they wanted to make it easier for the pve players to be able actually to gain these rewards the deadline for claiming legends ranking missions uh, mission rewards 
uh, is at the end of the season, please be aware that mission rewards cannot be claimed once the season has ended. And this is what I hate about missions. Uh, I really wanted them to be actually ranking rewards, but it seems that they will be actually missions that you acquire. If they would have been ranking rewards, all you need to do is just do the job to get them, and then you are going to get them whether you forget about them or not. But the missions, you have to acquire them as well, and sometimes you would forget about them. You are a human. You are a human after all, you aren't a machine, so you might forget about them and that is going to be pretty bad because you won't be able to acquire them in that case. The Legends ranking will unlock after clearing the beginner missions. And as you can see, it is this little trophy at the upper, upper uh, uh, left side of the screen when you log into the game. And basically you can check the legends ranking via the trophy icon in the uh, top left corner of the home screen. Uh, there are two kinds of rankings in the legends ranking. The top world ranking and group ranking. A point ranking competition between users all over the world earn the required number of points to compete in the ranking when the season com comes to an end you will receive rewards based on your placement or season rank oh so there is actually ranking rewards as well okay well that in that case that is actually pretty cool there there are two types of ranking rewards above the missions as well or maybe the missions aren't going to get you any rewards yeah, maybe the missions are going... No, there is actually mission rewards. Well, uh, this isn't something that I would expect from Dragon Ball Legends. But yeah, I guess... Uh, let's actually check these. Let's check them. Uh, so that we don't actually give them pro uh, something that they don't need to get. And so that we don't actually even... Um, say something bad about them when they actually did something good so these are the missions as i thought they aren't going to give you any rewards so yeah i i expected that if they are going to give us actually rewar ranking rewards and the ranking rewards doesn't look so cool at all let's take a look at the group oh wow oh wow <laughs> nah <laughs> okay well <laughs> This isn't the type of rewards that I would expect from a ranking rewards, but yeah. I guess it's still something extra, so why not? Uh, at bare minimum, you are going to get 100 Kron Crystals, which I guess is still much better than nothing. So yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's not what I would expect from it, but uh, whatever. Anyways, let's go to the news again and continue with these updates. So, play the Zinkai Summoning uh, Awakening Summons anytime, we did already check it, and then UI and other adjustments. More content now awards guild points, so you can earn points from more content than before. And then you can now start matchmaking or send an invite directly from the hyperdimensional co-op bottle screen. Okay, I need to check this. How do they mean that? Can we actually just do this and then be able to send? Yeah, we can actually. Okay. Okay, that is pretty cool. That is very, very good actually. That is going to save some time for it. So, that's good. That's definitely good. Alright. Uh, improved the effects displayed when a boss in hyperdimensional co-op changes element and I talked about this actually in my previous video uh, or previous 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 video because I did actually multiple videos yesterday <laughs> but yeah uh, they actually are going to make it easier to see that the boss changed the element instead of just changing it so basically when the boss is going to change the element he is going to be doing some type of power up and you will see basically that his uh, element has changed 
When forming a party for battles, a ribbon will be displayed on characters that have an item drop bonus. Yeah, this is actually the new bonus label that they added. And you can also sort characters by this. So basically, you don't need to even actually search for them. All you can you need to do is filter the characters by basically... Uh, the bonus and you will see all of the bonus characters there now of course you will need to check w which characters give you actually more bonus from the rewards uh, but still this is going to make it much easier for you to see all of the bonus characters and uh, choose them characters that can be used in, uh, in an ongoing legends battle royale can now be checked on the party for formation screen okay that is very good as well. Uh, modified home screen to display LBR available for LBR el eligible. Okay. <laughs> L LBR available or LBR eligible during Legends Battle Royale events. Added an option to stop re-upgrading equipment if a red ability is obtained. This is the absolutely best up, update they can actually ever do like seriously this is what we have been waiting for and finally they are actually doing it so this is really awesome improved the interface when choosing to replay uh, a bottle after a bottle ends okay okay i mean if this is going to allow us to replay it multiple times directly without having to click on rematch again and again and again then that would be really cool. Uh, but if it's not like that, then there is actually no point of it. <laughs> like seriously, if we are going to have to rematch again every time, uh, it's not going to be that crazy change actually. The messages that can be sent in PvP or co-op are now limited. Why? Which messages are limited to which con content is subject to change without prior notice? Check messages on the res on the results screen of each mood for more details. Load times have been improved on the exchange shop screen. That is very cool. Uh, change the rewards for the shallot upgrade missions. We already talked about that. Uh, added support for game for Google Play games uh, and updated Z Middle Exchange Shop and Z. Two middle exchange shop huh hmm okay i guess we will actually uh, this is a change also for the 17 ability you can actually check it for yourself i don't really care about him but we will check actually the uh, uh, we will check the z middle uh, and uh, there are some bug fixes as well so let's check the shop actually see how fast it will be of course, this is so fast, Legends. Oh, oh, they changed the layout as well. That is actually pretty interesting. That is definitely interesting. Oh, I misclicked there. Anyways, uh, these are for the events, and then there, this, uh, the, these are actually permanent. This is pretty pretty cool to be honest. This is a very good change. They made it easier to navigate in the uh, shop and that is very phenomenal. So let's check the Z middle here. Or actually instead of checking from here, did they actually say what they did add here somewhere? Uh, also there is the Hui Poi coins uh, which we are going to talk about later. Uh, it seems that they didn't say anything about it here. So yeah, we will have actually to check it ourselves. Anyways, let's actually see here. We didn't get anything new here. And the souls are also the same. Uh, maybe they added some equipments to it. I really don't know. What did they actually change here? I don't see anything changed. There is literally... Unless they are, maybe it is actually this, <sighs> the messages, no, <laughs> no, there is no way, uh, th we had already slot removers, and they cost 5,000, which is a lot, like way too much, 
I don't know about the guild creation ticket though, but we did have the uh, the adventure slot keys, and we did have the souls, and we also had these actually equipments. We did have them, right? Uh, we did have the this one though. I am one hundred percent sure about it, but I don't know about these actually. We did have them or not? <laughs> Well, let me know about it in the comment section below, but we didn't have anything useful actually there. Then there is this as well. And nothing changed here either. Like, why? What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I guess there is nothing changed here either. And they didn't even increase the amount of ultra skip tickets that you can actually get either. So I really don't understand. Like you can actually buy this now and uh, see how m how many steps you are going through. But th this is literally useless. Let's see actually if we buy these. And oh wow we can't buy all of them. Well whatever. <laughs> I wanted to see if they are going to allow us actually to buy more. Uh, if we don't have enough but whatever anyways these are actually pretty much the changes that they did to the game as you can see they they made the exchange shop as well a, a little bit better actually so that is very cool um, so i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and uh, as i said before if you want to stay updated with everything new about dragon ball legends make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends